Thank you, Ben. More news here at 5. A vote on legalizing medical marijuana here in Kentucky could actually come this week. Tonight, House Speaker David Osborne says his Republican leadership is telling up their support. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is telling us why many suspect that big vote could come as early as tomorrow and what would happen next. As the Republican majority left an afternoon closed door meeting, we learned that a vote on medical marijuana legislation could happen as soon as tomorrow, but there are still unresolved issues. Uh, Representative Nemus went over uh, all the changes he had made to the bill. There's still some questions that were, were kind of lingering out there about some of the changes that he's made. So just as soon as we can get back in caucus to get those questions answered, uh, I think that uh, it, it could be tomorrow. It would be no surprise if it came tomorrow afternoon. When it wouldn't be a surprise, but there's no guarantee either. It's very important to me because then I won't be illegal and I don't have to worry about the police knocking on my door. Monday, we introduced you to Sherry Hicksonball, wheelchair bound since the age of 16, paralyzed in a Floyd's Knob car crash on July 4th, 1976. She illegally uses marijuana now to fight insomnia and a dangerous situation in which she has no appetite. She went from 98 to 79 pounds. I need to gain some weight and it makes me eat like a little pig. And please think of this question when you cast your vote. What would you do? I would break the law in a New York minute. Middletown Republican Representative Jason Nemus passionately presented House Bill 136, which would legalize medical marijuana, would not legalize smoking it for treatment, and create a 13-member panel to decide qualifying conditions. There was an emotional outburst last week when the plan passed a committee on a near-unanimous vote. Sources on both sides of the aisle tell me they believe there are enough votes now to pass HB 136 through the House. If it clears that chamber, it will be halfway to becoming law. And Senate leadership suggests that there are enough votes there to pass it when it gets to them. Users like Sherry Huxenbaugh just hope it won't take too long. So those already using now can come out of the shadows for their treatments. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.